the general has called all the men under him into an assembly. And the colonel is ordered to make a call, or at least try to, 424-229-4140. He dials Melton, the Stone Cold Melton. John Melton breaks up for me. Dials my number. I've been asking for nine years now. What was that first? 9-11, World Trade Center, Flight 93 check of America's Life Funds, I have yet to get one. No certified, no non-certified mail as well. Oh, there's his address, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Park 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. The general makes a, a video with his phone of the colonel's phone being hijacked as he tries to call me. And then, whatever you get, whatever boring thing you get, the general tells the, the truth. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me, it's not going to be boring if your wife, if your daughter, if your mom is trying to call 911. She has an emergency, wants a fire engine, police, paramedics, and she's getting that boring thing. The general tells, uh, as the colonel makes a video of his phone being hijacked, the general's phone being hijacked, the general tells the truth. So, uh, safe phone records don't lie. Especially when good Americans, all soldiers, all firemen, all policemen, all churchgoers, all college students are making videos of America's hijack lifelines. Say in your video, phone records don't lie, especially when good Americans are making those videos. Then when they are made to lie by dangerous individuals, a threat from within. And all of America has the video proof of that. You got the time he called me? You got the number called, 424-229-414, and you don't show up on my caller ID, my call records. I don't know if you show up on your own, you got to check that. That's dangerous folks, hijacking America's lifelines for religious reasons, I think, because they place someone named Hussein, a religious name. And the highest office in America right after we got attacked by a whole lot of Husseins. I think it's religious, could be political, could be business, but doesn't matter why they are hijacking America's lifelines. They just know it's wrong, and they are altering phone records covered up. Get video proof of that, because we got phone gate to so much bigger than Russian gate. Go figure the guy with the Russian eyebrows is in bed with the Russians. And it's a whole lot bigger than Watergate. That's his political stuff. This affects every man, woman, and child in America, every citizen of America's lifelines. Document being hijacked, the general tells the troops. Post, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, a hundred more. And come see me in person. Tell me what you think of America's Hijack Lifeline.